adsorption and absorption okay now we have gained the preliminary idea about uh, the adsorption because the surface chemistry uh, generally takes the consideration of the surface reaction or surface phenomena okay now in with respect to that today i will discuss on the uh, the relationship between the adsorption and absorption relationship between the adsorbent and adsorbate with the parameters that is physical parameter that is temperature pressure etc okay so first of all we have to know some definition so what are these first of all it is extent of adsorption extent of adsorption now what is this the extent of adsorption is this the amount of adsorbate in an unit amount or an unit uh, amount of adsorbent is called the extent of adsorption that means it is represented as a uh, number of gram of adsorbate by number of uh, unit gram or 1 gram adsorbent and it is symbolically represented as x by m okay so x by m it is the a ratio of number of gram of adsorbent by the number of unit gram or the adsorbent so in unit gram or in 1 gram of adsorbent what are the amount of adsorbent is there is called the uh, extent of adsorption okay very simple so it is extent of adsorption next one that is adsorption isotherm isotherm what is this isotherm represents iso means same temperature therm means temperature and iso means same now this term when uh, make combination with adsorption that is adsorption isotherm adsorption isotherm then it represents the extent of adsorption it represents the or relation of extent of adsorption extent of adsorption with temperature extent of adsorption with pressure because as it is therm that means temperature constant at constant pressure temperature so the adsorption isotherm that is relation of extent of adsorption with pressure at constant temperature okay so this is adsorption isotherm now adsorption isotherm are that is friendly's adsorption isotherm adsorption isotherm next one langmuir adsorption isotherm and is bet adsorption isotherm bet adsorption isotherm but in your syllabus there is only the friendly's adsorption isotherm okay so the next we will discuss on the adsorption isotherm before going to that that is friendly's adsorption isotherm first take a look of just the in physical aspect that is extent of adsorption with the pressure extent of adsorption with pressure that is x by m versus p plot so when pressure is increases when pressure is increases then what happens the number of gas molecules can be adsorbed easily okay and when temperature is increases the adsorption is decreases so with respect to these physical aspect 
if we plot x by m with respect to uh, p not v it is p that is pressure uh, then we will see that it is a graph like that that means at constant temperature and with increasing pressure the extent of adsorption increases and it is true for physisorption it is true for physisorption okay now at a pressure that means here the extent of adsorption increases that means amount of gas adsorbed is increases with increasing pressure now a point is reached where the adsorbent becomes saturated with the adsorbent so at this point this pressure is represented as ps or saturated pressure so when the adsorbent is saturated with the adsorbent sorry the when the adsorbent is saturated with the adsorbent at constant temperature this pressure is called the saturated pressure and it is symbolically represented as ps okay so it is a from the physical aspect now we will move to the friendly's adsorption isotherm okay now move to the friendly's adsorption isotherm so again as it is isotherm so we will expect that same type of curve will be shown here and it is found exact to that now friendly's gives an empirical relation what is this relation that is x by m equal to k p to the power 1 by n this is the relation x by m equal to k p to the power 1 by n okay now here also x by m equal to extent of adsorption extent of adsorption k constant p pressure and 1 by n it is the tangent of the graph tangent of the graph or tangent of the line what are the line that is the line of isotherm so as it is isotherm temperature is maintained constant here okay so just take a look of the graphical representation of that now one physical uh, with respect to the physical aspect by the adsorption of nitrogen on charcoal just see one experimental data that is x by m at pressure p this is the graphical representation of nitrogen gas adsorbed by charcoal nitrogen gas adsorbed by charcoal so at different temperature the topmost uh, line is at minus 78 degree centigrade minus 78 degree centigrade it is minus 90 29 degree centigrade and it is at 0 degree centigrade now the with increasing pressure the steepness of the graph is decreases you can see that with increase in temperature the steepness of the graph increases okay decreases so this is the from there we can conclude that when the temperature is uh, low enough so it is stable this adsorption this physis option is uh, more uh, that is the extent of adsorption will be more in low temperature but when temperature is increases the extent of adsorption will be lower okay because this value here x by m having higher value 
they are here having a average medium and this having low value so as temperature is decreases that is increases the extent of adsorption is also decreases next if we take the logarithm on the equation that is here so you can write it that log x by m equal to log k plus 1 by n log p because the power will come before to the function so log x by m it is equal to y equal to this is c and this is equal to m x now m equal to 1 by n the tangent so this equation is a equation of straight line having a cross section of c and a magnitude of theta which is ultimately takes to the tangent okay now here also as it is following the y equal to mx plus c then this equation which is given empirically by friendlies it will also follow and if it is followed then a straight line will be obtained so if any adsorption process is a uh, straight line then uh, according to the graph uh, logarithmic plot then we can say that friendly adsorption isotherm is valid on that case okay now if we plot this just plot it here log of x by m so we are plotting log of x by m versus log p log p it is one variable and another one variable now and this constant value this is log k this is c now if we take the tan theta then tan theta equal to b by a it if it is b it is a b by a and it is equal to 1 by a that is the tangent of the angle tangent of the line so 1 by n is the tangent of that isotherm okay so it will be the mathematical representation of friendly adsorption isotherm in the logarithmic form okay next so from there the question may be what is friendly adsorption isotherm what is the mathematical form of the friendly adsorption isotherm next if we follow the graph oh, okay. before going to that the value of 1 by n the value of 1 by n is in between 0 to 1 but it is found that the maximum case it is equal to 0 0.1 to 0 0.5 the value of 1 by n is found experimentally that is the value of 1 by n equal to 0.1 to 0.5 now in general that is when we are plotting x by m that is extent of adsorption with p then we have seen that a line like that is arises so here just take a look of that line so when the line is uh, the going through the origin or passing through the origin then the value of n that is value of 1 by n will be then the value of 1 by n will be 1 that is at that point when it is in this point that means when it is parallel to the p axis then value of 1 by n equal to 0 and when the in in that position then the value of 1 by n equal to is greater than 0 and less than 1 sorry 1 greater than 1 by n greater than 0 
greater or equal to 1 by n equal to 0. So, these are the three conditions. So, when the line is passing through the origin, then the value of 1 by n equal to 1. When it is parallel to the pressure axis, then 1 by n equal to 0. And when in the intermediate position, that means and the slope, then it is in this region, that is 1 greater or equal to 1 by n greater or equal to 0. So, these are the three points in, uh, in the graph. Next, what is the limitations of Langmuir uh, friendly adsorption isotherm? First of all, it is an empirical rule, it is not on the any, their basis is not any theoretical aspect is there. The value of the constant k, value of the constant k in the equation that is x by m equal to x by m equal to k p to the power 1 by n. So, here the value of k and the value of n are considered to be the temperature independent. They are considered as k and m. They are considered for uh, temperature independent, but what happens the when there is the gaseous adsorbent is there. So, in case of gaseous adsorbent the uh, volume or the with respect to pressure there is a change in this physical state. Okay. So, it is also negligible here. Next one the friendly isotherm is a valid in the very low pressure range and very limited pressure range. First of all low pressure range and also with the limited pressure range. Okay. And it cannot explain the behavior at very high pressure, it cannot explain the behavior of adsorption at very high pressure. Okay. So, these are the uh, four points, these are the four points that is the describes about the drawbacks of friendly's adsorption isotherm. It is very low pressure range, it is applicable in high pressure range, it cannot explain the behavior of the adsorption and the value of k m and k is taken as temperature independent and also it is empirical one, there is no theoretical aspect regarding to that. So, this is about the friendly adsorption isotherm. So, it was isotherm. Next point it is what is isobar. So, just take the knowledge from isotherm when x by m versus temperature is there, x by m versus temperature at constant pressure, at constant pressure. That means, the system is like that, the pressure is constant for an adsorption, uh, pressure is constant and the temperature is changing and we have to make a relationship between the x by m that is extent of adsorption with that of the temperature. So, for this you can see a plot like that, it is x by m and it is temperature. This is the graph of adsorption iso bar. adsorption isobar. So, this is uh, a curve like that, that means extent of adsorption with increasing temperature from the physical aspect also that with increasing temperature the x by m also decreases and it is shown in the picture also. And it is not only true, it is only true this type of curve is shown for the physisorption, but for chemisorption when there is a chemical interaction is there that is a bond formation or the interaction is somehow strong then with at the same way we can see a plot like that. 
Okay, so at first the extent of adsorption is increases and then decreases with increasing temperature. That means this is the optimum condition. This point that is this temperature, this is the optimum temperature where the adsorption that means chemisorption is more stable. Okay. So, these are the two points of adsorption isobar. One that is where the physisorption it is decreases with respect to time, it is physisorption. And for chemisorption, it is increases first and decreases. Okay. So, this is about the reaction. Uh, adsorption iso bar. Next adsorption from solution phase, adsorption from solution phase. Now, I have told you earlier that in the uh, for example, the adsorption of gases. Now, these are not from the solution, but the examples like in the production of sugar that means here some adsorption uh, that is animal charcoal is used to adsorb the color of the uh, liquid sugar. Okay. So, these are the examples from where the applications of uh, adsorption process is applied on the chemical process. So, we have to find out this. So, next point is that Next point is that adsorption in from solution phase, adsorption from solution phase. That means, where in solution phase adsorption is applied, we have to see some examples regarding to that. Now, one number one, number one is that the concentration of acetic acid, the concentration of acetic acid is decreases when the concentration of acetic acid is decreases when it is second with the charcoal. Okay. So, number one concentration of acetic acid decreases when the solution is second with with some charcoal powder okay number 2 number 2 is the i have told you earlier that the litmus solution is second with charcoal it becomes colorless Next two is the litmus shaken with charcoal. Charcoal, litmus shaken with charcoal becomes colorless. It is again one example of using adsorption in the next one is that the white precipitate of magnesium hydroxide becomes blue when magnesium indicator is there. So, white PPT turns to blue when magnesium is present there. Magnesium plus magnesium hydroxide, it is white in nature it turns blue. This blue color is due to the formation of a surface compound. This blue color is due to the formation of a surface compound. It is another one example where adsorption is taken into consideration. Okay. Next, next point is that factors affecting the adsorption of solute from solution by solid factors affecting the adsorption of solute from solution by solids 
number one the extent of adsorption decreases with increase in temperature because in the with increase the temperature the solute molecules are become uh, more energetic that is kinetic energy increases so the adsorption will be less next one the degree of adsorption increases with increase in the surface area when surface area is increases because uh, the adsorption relates to the surface area and it is proportional that is x by m is proportional to the surface area so it is the second point last that is it depends on the nature of the adsorbate and adsorbent so one is that with increasing temperature the extent of adsorption decreases okay and the degree of adsorption increases with increase in the surface area and this is depends on the interaction of adsorbate and adsorbent okay so uh, up to this today only uh, that is what is lang uh, adsorption isotherm what is friendly adsorption isotherm and what are the different cases where in solution phase also adsorption may takes in action and third one that is the uh, what is the necessary condition for what are the parameters on which adsorption depends. Okay, thank you everyone.